Hello, I'm Becky Wolf, and I'm one of the science educators at the Children's Museum. And I'm outside today in my warm winter coat with my very special science assistant. Okay. And we decided to come out and do science today because it just snowed. And, and it's so a, it's cold. It's cold. And it's a great time to demonstrate some science that is really all you can only do when it's cold. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about how animals stay warm. And one of those um, reasons, I mean, one of those ways that they stay warm is blubber. Is blubber. So we're going to talk about what blubber is and how animals use it. So unlike us, animals don't have nice warm coats and mittens. They, they, they have coats, but not this type of coat. Right. They have, fur, they have fur, but they don't have things that they put on. So they have other special adaptations which keep them warm and as we said one of those is blubber oh, oh by the way for those animal lovers out here this is not blubber it's not real blubber we're exactly. using something else yeah so we're going to show what's called a blubber glove and it's using some stuff from the kitchen and so this is just vegetable shortening so what you're going to need we already said the crisco you're going to need two quart size ziploc bags and some sort of spoon or spatula and also like some snow or uh, ice water. Yes, yeah, so snow or ice water. So the first thing we're going to do is take one of our paper, our plastic sacks. This is honestly, yeah, that's really cool. That is really cool. But we're going to keep our hands nice and warm in our mittens till we're ready to test the boulder glove. Yeah. So this part can get a little messy. So we're just going to scoop several big oh, feels, scoops. I yeah, know, it does weird. feel weird. So several big scoops of this vegetable shortening down inside this bag. We squish, squish. Yeah, you kind of squish that together. And I'm going to do just a little bit more here. There we go. All right. I think this should do it. Mm -hmm. Now. So I have three big scoops. Three big scoops. Okay. Now I'm going to so scrape like, that out. Do we flip this inside out or something? Well, that's the next step with this, but with oh, this bag. Yeah, yep. this. So yeah, you flip a bag and the other bag. <clears throat> Another tough to open. So what we're doing. Inside out is this first bag which has the blubber in it this is going to be like the outside like the animal skin and then we have the layer of blubber and what mj is doing is she's turning the bag inside out and this is going to make our glove part this is like a this is kind of like a diy mitten honestly. it is kind of a diy mitten. only it's kind of hard to grab <laughs> yeah, exactly okay so now what mj is going to do is she's going to shove it down in there it, it, it squish. okay so we squish it in there uh, is, oh, that looks like, like ice. Or yeah, and so what it's we like ice cream. yeah, so what we do is we just we shove that bag down inside, and then what I'm gonna do, and this is the tricky part. Actually, I'm gonna have to take my mittens off because I need a little bit more dexterity here. Is it's we are gonna match up the zippers of the two bags to close it up, and this does it is a little fiddly, so. Um, so if you're a kid watching this, maybe you should get some help. Yeah, this is a good part, a uh, good time to have an adult help. If you really can't get it to to zip, you can also get, grab some a stapler. Oh, the, the snow I'm making. Or some tape. Okay. Oh. We're going to get this. Eh, it's going to get started. Oh, there it goes. Wait, Mom, can you? I think you could also use a stapler, right? Yep, you could just stapler, anything to close it up. So now the first thing you want to do experiment is just touch your snow and make sure it's cold. Is it cold? Yeah, it's like, it's really cold. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shove the bag down inside there oh. and keep your hand inside that inner bag and tell us tell us what you're experiencing there, there it's MJ. Like, like, it's not cold. Like, it's not cold. Well, it might be a bit chilly, but it's like not really cold at all. Yeah, so, and it may be a bit chilly where there's like a th little Oh, now, thin, yeah, it's warming up. It's warming up? Yeah, it's warming up, I think because of the heat of my hand. Like, yeah. Like, I think, is it because the, I think the blubble or um, Crisco or whatever not, is keeping the heat of my hand inside the bag. Exactly. So what's going on is the Crisco or our blubber, it's acting as an insulator. So can what I take it's, my hand out now? you can definitely take your hand out and put your put your other gloves back on. So what's happening is that layer of fat, it's the insulator. It is keeping the body heat of the animal. In this case, um, the body heat from MJ's hands inside the bag. But in an animal, they have that very special layer of fat so that it keeps them warm and insulated. You want to feel it, Mom? Yeah, I should try it. So. We also talked about, uh, before we got started, what are some other ways that animals keep themselves warm? Well, fur, um, they keep themselves warm with fur. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I don't know if this really counts as keeping them warm, but some animals actually hibernate. Um, and mm -hmm. when they hibernate, they don't need food or water 
or even need to stay warm. Basically, they just kind of like shut off without actually shutting off. Exactly. So some animals hibernate, which is their bodies um, slow down and they stay warm. So but it's kind. It's kind of like when you like uh, turn off your phone or something, yeah. or like turn off a camera or something. Exactly. So we also talked about the fur. So most animals that have blubber have some sort of fur, or in the case of a walrus or a seal, some sort of a, a protective skin layer, and then they have that blubber which keeps them warm. So we hope you have enjoyed our snow experiment here, and we hope that this motivates you to try making some blubber. Oh no! <laughs> and also have a little bit of fun <laughs> with snowballs. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>